Hey, it's Enigma Hood. And um, one of my subscribers asked me uh, if I am playing or if I have played uh, Duke Nukem Forever. Well, I thought that question deserved a video response. Um, because I haven't made a video about Duke Nukem Forever in a long fucking time. And I'm sure all of you could figure out why. Uh, the reason why I'm not talking about Duke Nukem Forever anymore is because I just don't care. It's actually for the same exact reason why none of you are talking about Duke Nukem Forever. And it's true. No one is talking about this fucking game anymore. It is old news. It is... It, it's amazing just how quickly the interest in this game died off. It just went from, like, unbelievable, like, popularity to nothing. But anyway, um, yeah. I'm not talking about Duke Nukem Forever anymore. One, because, I mean, there's nothing really to talk about. Uh, and that goes without saying. And also because uh, there's just no interest in the game anymore. There's no interest in this character, really. I mean... I'm amazed that the fan base even exists still. Uh, after what 3D Realms did, they pretty much did everything in their power to destroy Duke Nukem, and they they pretty much succeeded. Um, but yeah, have I played Duke Nukem Forever? The answer to that is no, I have not, uh, for a variety of reasons. Uh, one out of principle, uh, I do not want to spend a dime on Duke Nukem Forever on principle. Uh, because of all the bullshit that 3D Realms pulled. 15 years, and this is the garbage that they produced. You know, even if the game was just, like, kind of okay, and it was kind of good, like, maybe, like, a 70 or 80 percentile game, I still would not spend a cent on it. Uh, on principle. But even then, even then, if it was an excellent game... Uh, wait, no, 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 let me rephrase that. It's not worth money, but it's also not worth my time. There are so many other games out there that are so much better. There are, there are so many. And so playing Duke Nukem Forever would be unfair to games that uh, are, are s s far superior in quality and actually have development teams that are able to produce a product in a timely manner. Uh, I don't, like, one day maybe I might play Duke Nukem Forever. Uh, I played the demo on PlayStation Network, and wow, what a steaming pile of crap. It was the most mediocre, like, generic shooter I've ever played in my life. And it, it there was nothing to it. It was just generic garbage. They, these guys, George, Broussard, Scott Miller... And Joe Siegler, they all deserve to suffer, as far as I'm concerned. They all deserve to suffer for what they did. For 15 years, they lied to the fans. They said that this was going to be the greatest game ever created, that it was going to blow everyone's minds apart as soon as it comes out. What a load of lies. You guys, you, you cocksuckers, you lied. You lied to the fans all this time. And then when it, when it finally comes out, you go run, and you hide. And then you, you, you just... You, you're so indifferent, you're so apathetic. What you, guy, what you fuckheads should do is you should apologize. You should say, you know what? We fucked up. We, d we promised an excellent game, and we failed to deliver on all counts. We failed. We're a failure. We're a group of failures. And you should, you should refund everyone's money for this game. I checked on Amazon.com. Uh, you can get this game brand new for under 10 bucks. You can get the Balls of Steel edition. The Collector's edition with all the extra garbage that is good for absolutely nothing. You can get that for under $30. Around 20 I think. That says a lot about this game. You know, after it was released, it seemed like the popularity just plummeted. No one was playing it anymore. No one gave a damn because it was revealed that this game was nothing more than a pile of shit. Now, uh, Joe Siegler, some of you may or may not realize he actually mentioned me in, on his website 
months and months ago, like I think sometime in September or something. No, even before then, I think it was in August or something. He actually mentioned me. And I'm sure, like, he thought, like, oh, Enigma Hood's gonna respond to this, to my mentioning of him. I can't wait to see, read, watch what he says. I did not give a damn. I, I did not give a damn. I never acknowledged it. I never gave a fuck. I knew this whole time. It's not like I, I just found out. No, I knew this whole time that he mentioned me, and I just didn't care. Uh, he, he said something along the lines of, he is forgiving me, or something like that. Which I find to be, um... What's the word for it? Almost like, uh, like it's like he's out of touch with reality. Um, there's nothing to forgive me for. I'm punishing you. Like every single video I made about you, Joe Siegler, I was punishing you for the, all the bad things that you have been doing. I was disciplining you because nobody else out there is going to do it. Somebody has to do it because you're a bad person and you've been fucking around. This whole fucking time harassing people, yelling at people, and lying to people about this game. It was, he revealed on, his, on that same blog post that he was game testing the, the Duke Nukem Forever this entire time. So remember that video I made about him uh, going to a board meeting and making all these stupid fucking suggestions? It turns out that was actually real. It was 100% it, it was accurate. He really was going to these fucking meetings and then giving them feedback. And of course, as we can tell from the final product, that he did a shit job of it. He was a complete failure at something so fucking basic and simple. Every single complaint I mentioned in that game is 100% valid. And he failed to address those problems. Every single one. Unbelievable, that piece of fucking shit. And then he has the audacity to try to uh, paint himself as a victim. Or something like that. By the way, it turns out he was not employed by Gearbox Software. He was just a contractor. Gearbox Software was not that stupid. They realized this guy's utility, and it was zero. They were just doing uh, George Bruce out a favor. They ha hired him as a contractor for X amount of months, and then that was it. They said, pack your bags, get the fuck out of here. Okay, I have no idea what the fuck Joe Siegler's doing anymore. Uh, I hope he's living out on the street. I hope he's homeless because he deserves he, he deserves to suffer. Bottom line, I don't care about anything else about this motherfucker. He deserves to suffer for lying to the fans this whole fucking time. That much is enough to make him deserving for punishment. So I mean, if you see Joe Siegler at McDonald's flipping flipping burgers, you know, flip him the finger for me, you know, because he's a piece of shit. And then laugh at him for working at fucking McDonald's. Yeah, that's what you get for dropping out of college and then running off to uh, uh, work for a company. It turns out the reason why he got that job was because he was just a little bitch. He was running a BBC and he ratted out some people that were uh, distributing uh, non-shareware software. And then three, uh, then Apogee at the time uh, thought, you know, this guy's a real bitch. He, he, he can be our bitch. He's, he's such a good brown noser. A sycophant is what they call them. Joe Siegler is a good sycophant. He's a good yes man. That's all he's good for. And that's why Apogee liked him. Because he's a little bitch. Well, turns out now you don't have that job and uh, your skills? What skills do you have, Joe Siegler? You did the burp sound for dope fish. Yeah, and he wrote that on his fucking IMDB page. What a fucking piece of shit. Um... I don't know if fanboys exist anymore. Uh, I got so much hate for all my Duke Nukem Forever videos in the past, before the game came out. After the game came out, I have not he heard from any fanboys. I mean, the fanboys became apologists because they realized that the game sucked. They're kind of like Christian apologists. You know, they, they defend the game against criticism. Unfairly so. And they're so ravenous in defending the game, but they're not so bold enough to actually insult people for not for pointing out valid criticism of the game. So the fanboys have kind of became apologists, in my opinion. I haven't gotten any hate about my Duke Nukem Forever videos. I don't think anybody really watches them anymore. I used to get so, uh, get so much feedback on those videos, lots of negative and positive feedback. Now, nothing. Nobody cares about the game anymore. It's like a dead stick. Uh, wow, what a way to go, you know. What can I say? George Broussard, Scott Miller, and Joe Siegler, all three of those fuckheads are to blame. All three of them.
Only they could figure out a way to destroy something so great as Duke Nukem. Uh, I don't think... Uh, okay, one thing I do want to point out is I don't think Randy Pitchford should be blamed at all. Like I said many, many times before, all of this bullshit was dropped on him at the last minute. He had a one year to fix 15 years of disaster. There was just no fucking way. I mean, you could have given the game to the, the greatest game developer in the universe, you know, Hideo Kojima, uh, 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 Miyamoto, um, whoever else, you know, Cliffy B, you know, whoever. It doesn't, give, it doesn't matter. Uh, nobody could have saved this game. Okay, so blaming Randy Pitchford, that's not fair. Right? He had nothing to really, he really had nothing to do with it, aside from just, you know, I guess, overselling the game beforehand, but, I mean, that's his job. It's his product now, unfortunately. Uh, going forward, is Duke Nukem, Duke Nukem as a character relevant anymore, and sh should we want another game? Honestly, I, I, I would prefer if we never saw a new Duke Nukem game ever. And that includes both the the crappy cash-in uh, uh, mooching games, like, you know, Time to Kill or any of these other bullshit games that are just trying to cash in on the name. I don't ever want to see those games again, definitely. But that goes, goes without saying. And I don't even want to see, like, a, a main game either. You know, Duke Nukem Forever, as far as I'm concerned, is on par with Time to Kill or Land of the Babes or any of these other shovelware garbage that they were trying to cash in with. Um, I think uh, Duke Nukem is a relic of the 90s. His uh, whole persona was kind of based off of 80s and 90s action heroes. They're just not relevant anymore. I mean, do we see many movies with those kinds of archetypes? No, we don't. I mean, it's, it's just not relevant. Nobody thinks his sexism is funny. It wasn't funny. All that sexism in Duke Nukem Forever was more um, offensive than anything else. I just didn't think any of it was funny. It was just juvenile and stupid. It, 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 it was trying so hard to be shocking, and it wasn't shocking. It was just offensive. I was offended by how stupid and tasteless these sexist jokes were, you know? And, like, you have to wonder, like, what the fuck is wrong with 3D Realms? They're racist with Shadow Warrior. They're sexist with Duke Nukem Forever. You know, they're just like a bunch of inbred hicks. You know, the stereotype, apparently, is true about these fucking uh, inebriated fuckheads. Anyway, uh, that's all I have to say. One day, looking forward, will I ever play Duke Nukem Forever? I might, uh, but I will not pay for it. I will. There is no fucking way I will ever play, uh, pay them a cent for that game. And even then, if I don't uh, pay for it, I think it's a waste of my time anyway. So probably not. Uh, I don't see any reason for it. Okay? That's all I gotta say. This is probably... I hope this is the last video I ever do on Duke Nukem Forever. You know, any Duke Nukem fans that watch my videos, I hope you stick around uh, anyway, uh, because I do have other things to say about the video game industry, or just maybe maybe other videos that I make that you might enjoy watching. Uh, if they do announce a new Duke Nukem game, I probably will talk about it. We'll see. I don't know. Anyway, this is Duke. This is this is Duke. This is Enigma Hood signing off.